वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स टू द क्लास नंबर 47 इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन डिटेल अबाउट द एमबीबीएफ मेथड नंबर 2 एंड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लोर द फार्मूला अ बिट मैथमेटिकली मेनी ऑफ यू हैव मस्ट हैव लिसन दैट फॉर कैलकुलेटिंग द एलिजिबिलिटी अंडर एमबीबीएफ मेथड 2 योर करंट रेशियो शुड बी मिनिमम मिनिमम 1.33x योर करंट रेशियो शुड बी मिनिमम 1.33x यू मस्ट हैव हियर्ड हर्ड about this from many people and i have also explained this in my main hindi channel in 4 years back right so we will try to prove mathematically how this 1.33x figure is derived by using mpvf2 right so let us try to prove all of this mathematically so you remember that in mpvf2 the game all the, the whole of the game revolves around the calculation of nwc the formula states that the nwc should be at a bare minimum level in order to support the eligibility the actual nwc should be at a bare minimum required level right so if you remember in the previous video we have seen that this is the actual nwc and this was the minimum required nwc the minimum required nwc the actual nwc should be at least at the level of or more of minimum nwc in order to support the eligibility right so if we put all of this mathematically so your actual nwc your actual nwc should be equal to 25% of total current assets this represents the minimum required nwc this is actual nwc so your actual nwc if it is equal to minimum required nwc that means your eligibility under mpbf2 shall meet right so nwc should be equal to 25% of total current assets this is what mpbf2 say to us right so what is nwc it is total current assets minus total current liabilities right and we can write it as uh, 0.25 of total current assets right 0.25 not percentage 0.25 of total current assets so if we resolve all of this mathematically then we will come to a figure that total current liabilities are equal to 0.75 of total current assets we have come to a figure that total current liabilities should be equal to 0.75 of total current assets right so this is the mathematical representation if we resolve all of these things now you need to understand one formula you need to understand one formula that current ratio current ratio is equal to total current assets upon total current liabilities current ratio is equal to total current assets upon total current liabilities right so the to total current liabilities is equal to 0.75 of total current assets so current ratio is total current assets upon total current liabilities so if we replace the tcl amount since tcl is equal to 0.75 of tca so if we replace tcl with this figure then current ratio would be equal to tca divided by 0.75 tca since tcl is equal to 0.75 tca so if we resolve this we will find that current ratio should be equal to 1 divided by 0.75 so if we divide 1 by 0.75 then current ratio comes to 1.33x so this is a mathematical proof that why people say that in mpvf2 your current ratio should be minimum 1.33x but friends this is not true because you have learned in the previous video that actual nwc calculation can amend as per the bank bank's requirement this is the most accurate representation of actual nwc and you have also learned that minimum required nwc can exclude the export receivable as amount if these two items can be adjusted further then this theory cannot hold good because in this theory we are taking the total current assets and total current liabilities we are comparing this with actual current ratio right so because of these export receivables and short term portion of long term debt this theory might not be true if your bank is treating these items separately right I hope you have learnt and enjoyed this video. I will come up with the next topic in next video. Thank you very much.